Hello there, welcome to AWS Tech Guide session. Today we will learn how to install Sonar Cube and run with Docker Compose in AWS EC2. First, we will take a quick look on Sonar Cube, Docker, and Docker Compose. Next, we will create a virtual system in AWS that is EC2 instance. We will install Docker in Ubuntu instance. Next, we will install Docker Compose, and after that, we will install Sonar Cube with Docker Compose. Now, first, let's take a look on Sonar Cube what it is. Sonar Cube is an open source platform developed by Sonar Source for continuous inspection of code quality. It is basically for static code analysis. With Maven and Gradle build tasks, you can run Sonar Cube analysis with minimal setup in a virtual machine. Next, Docker. Docker is a set of platform as a service product that uses waste level virtualization to deliver software in a package called containers. Containers are basically isolated from one another and it is a bundle of software, libraries and configuration file. They can communicate with each other through well-defined channels. And now comes to Docker Compose. Compose is a tool for defining and running multi-container Docker, Docker application. There is a configuration file called docker compose yml that is the main configuration file for docker compose and to bring the docker compose up there is a only single line command run docker compose up that's it there are three things needed for this docker compose first docker file which the developer develops or create during the application development the next is docker compose dot yml and the third one is to bring the docker compose up there is a single line command run docker compose up and compose starts and run your entire application now let's go and create our ec2 instance in aws i am already logged into my aws management console let's create one ec2 instance now type ec2 Select EC2. Go to running instances. Click on launch instance. And we will be creating one Ubuntu instance. So search Ubuntu. Select the first one Ubuntu server 18.0. 04 and for this purpose when you are installing docker docker compose as well as sonar we have to select a more powerful virtual cpu so let's select the general purpose t2 medium two virtual cpus and four gigabyte of ram just click on review and launch I'm just going by all the default configuration. Click on launch. I have the key pair already uh, created into my system. That's why I'm not creating anything new. So using that, if you want to know how to create the key pair, how to convert the .pem file to .ppk file and how to connect to your AWS EC2 instance through Putty then please check my other videos. Click on launch instance. Click view instances. And as you see that it is initializing. Meanwhile, let me tell you to install Docker, Docker Compose and then Sonar, we will be executing a set of commands. To make it easier for you, I have already arranged all those commands into a script file. So to get the script file, go to github.com slash aws take guide slash dev of this repository and then select docker compose install dot txt. Open it. Click on raw. Perfect. 
So keep it open and let's go back to our EC2 instance. Yeah, our EC2 instance is running. Let's copy this public DNS. Now open putty. As I said, I have this putty configured with my key pair. That's why I just am replacing the host name here. But remember one thing, when you are connecting one Ubuntu instance, your username should be Ubuntu. So in your putty configuration, go to your connection and then the data part and you will see that auto login username that should be Ubuntu, not EC2 dash user. When you will be connecting one Linux instance, then that will be EC2 dash users. But it is we are connecting Ubuntu. That's why the auto login username will be Ubuntu. Go back to session. Click on open. Perfect. We are connected to the EC2 instance. Just let me make it wider. Yeah. Now let's go back to the commands and we will be running the commands one after another. So let's start from here. Run this curl command here just to check whether this curl is working or not. Perfect. Now run this add repository command. And before that, let's go to uh, change the user to sudo user. Perfect. Now run this command. Update the instance by sudo app get update. Okay. Now run the cache policy command. Perfect. Now let's go and run the docker install command. As you see that it is sudo apt get install y docker dash ce and click enter. It will take few minutes to install docker. Perfect. It has installed docker. Now we will change the user mode. It is sudo user mode docker and ubuntu. Ubuntu is the username for the instance you have created. If you have created uh, by any different name that will be the name after docker. Perfect. Now we will do with just status check of docker. Perfect, it's running. So congratulations, you have successfully installed docker into an Ubuntu instance in AWS. Let's go to our next step to install docker compose. To install docker compose again run setup commands. So we will be copying the commands one after another from here. Let's copy this install docker compose command. Change the permission. Perfect. Now check the version which which version of Docker Compose 
we have just installed here. So docker compose version. Oh, sorry. It was my typo. Okay, so we have installed 1.24.0 version of Docker Compose. Now we will be installing Sonar through Docker Compose. So to install Sonar, first we have to update this max map count. Run it and it has updated. Now create one directory for sonar perfect let's go inside the directory and we will copy our docker compose configuration file here so let's go and get this docker compose file It has downloaded. Let's see. Yeah, it is inside. Now let's open this Docker Compose YML. What is inside that? Okay. Now let's bring our Docker Compose up. The sudo Docker Compose up. Just sudo Docker. compose up and it will take few minutes to bring up the sonar service as you see that it is showing sonar cube is up so let's go back to our ec2 instance copy this public DNS but before that as we know that the sonar cube works on port number 9000 so we have to change our security group from here so just select this EC2 instance click on this security group click on the security group click on edit inbound rules add one rule custom TCP 9000 and just I'm making it anywhere and save rules perfect I'm again going back to the EC2 instance copying this public DNS opening a browser and 9000 Perfect. Congratulations. Our Sonar Cube is up and running. Now let's log into the Sonar Cube. Click on login. And by default, the user ID and password for Sonar Cube login is admin admin. Click on login. And we are inside this Sonar Cube. So congratulations. You have successfully installed Sonar Cube in an EC2 instance of Ubuntu. If you are following our DevOps series, then in next part of this tutorial, you will learn how to configure or integrate Sonar Cube with a Jenkins job for your static code analysis. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. If you have any query or question, please feel free to write in the comment box. We will be happy to help you. Thank you. See you in our next lecture.